It was back in April when the acting postmaster of D.C. says staffing shortage is what's causing the delay in mail delivery. He vowed to hire more people and to improve the overall process. But months later, neighbors in one southeast community question if anything is working. Received on the 6th of July. This was the last That's time the Gloria last Gross day. received her mail, a letter from her bank last Wednesday. However, since Wednesday of last week, we have not gotten any mail, any mail nor have they picked up any mail. At least 20 people near the Fairfax Village neighborhood in Southeast shared the same concern, including Vassar Baldwin. All of my bills I'm waiting on for the month of July, all of my bills. We could pay our bills online, no problem, but we want people to keep their jobs. The issue can be a lot to unpack, especially when just across the street, other residents are getting their mail. They claim getting in touch with anyone from the Postal Service for answers has been close to impossible. I said, I didn't get any mail. I haven't got any mail in a week. And she said, oh, it's our carrier. And I said, well, hire someone. Postal agency data says one in five pieces of mail across the U.S. was delivered late in the first three months of this year. Just over half of all first class mail arrived on time in the DMV back in December. Just on Tuesday, former D.C. mail truck driver of 20 years Brian McLaurin testified in front of congressional leaders, urging them to reverse policy changes to cut down on overtime, late trucks and extra trips by Postmaster General Louis DeJoy. We would never leave mail behind. Now we do that with a, at a drop of the bucket. I am really very distressed about it because I've had to change the method of paying. In response to the problem in April, the acting postmaster of D.C. says they're looking to hire more employees and are making every effort to deliver mail as expeditiously as possible. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.